Happy Monday, everybody. This is The Gaming Preacher. I've got another Medal of Honor Warfighter video for you today. I was looking around the other night uh, trying to find another game mode to play and completely forgot that combat mission even existed as an option. Here I was playing Warfighter and Team Deathmatch the whole time, completely forgetting that combat mission was available. I played that a good bit on uh, the last Medal of Honor that came out last year. I really enjoy this game type because it really it gives you more uh, availability of map area. Uh, sometimes you know different game modes that you play, you're only going to be playing on certain portions of the map. With Combat Mission, it allows you to explore sort of three separate areas of the map. Uh, you have three objectives that you either have to attack or you have to defend. And in this case, we're uh, the attacking side. And we have to uh, detonate uh, bombs or explosions at each of these three locations uh, progressively. So in the, in the case of the other team who's defending, uh, as we attack and we detonate these bombs, they're going to have to retreat. They're going to have to move, fall back to the next uh, bomb location. So I really like this game type because it, besides being objective and gives the team a focus, it uh, just allows you to see more you know, of, the, of each of the maps that you're playing. Now I thought I would use an LMG heavy gunner class on this one. I've got a saw that I'm using and I thought I would try to sort of be a support role in this because I can deploy my bipod and as you can see here that bipod makes a huge difference in your accuracy. It makes a huge difference in the effectiveness of your shots. If I had been carrying that thing around and I was hip firing there's no way that I would have gotten that many kills right there uh, at least for me because I'm just not that good. I'm just not that accurate. But using that uh, bipod deployment cuts down the recoil, uh, allows you to really stay on target, and uh, actually makes the LMG, makes this saw uh, a really effective weapon, the kind of weapon that you think it should be. So my plan here was to be sort of a support role, uh, to be able to lay down uh, cover fire, to be able to uh, hold objectives once we've actually attacked them, uh, you know, to keep the other team from being able to defuse them. Now, uh, this next location, the B location, is the one that's kind of down below. There's a large opening above it uh, from a second level. And I'm looking, I was trying to get down to the bottom portion of it here, uh, but it looks like they're going to have that covered pretty well. They're hiding behind boxes, behind crates. I'm not getting a real clear shot. So once I spawn, I thought I will go up to the top here to the second level. And you can see or just ahead, you see the uh, attack uh, symbol. And now we have actually attacked it and uh, we're, we need to defend it to keep the team from defusing it. So if you get above B here, uh, if you're an attacking team, or really even if you're defending as well, this is a really good place to get because you can uh, see down through the whole bomb uh, site location. And as you'll, as you'll notice as they're coming in, I'm able to provide some cover fire. I'm able to uh, keep the enemy from uh, getting back to the bomb location. Now this will work out great, of course, as long as you don't get flanked like we almost did there. So if you've got teammates, if you've got a fire team that's working together, then they can help, kind of help uh, you know, watch your flanks and keep you from getting uh, hit from the side there. So it looks like we've got the B location taken care of pretty well. I didn't even deploy my bipod in this case. So now we're going to have to try to make our, our way around to the uh, C location if we can make it through this uh, support action that got called in. Now one thing as we go through here, you remember about the uh, LMGs is your reload is going gonna, is gonna to be a little cumbersome. It's going to take a little bit of time to reload, so you need to sort of pick a time to do that uh, when it's most advantageous for you. When it's, uh, you're, maybe you've got some cover, uh, there's a lull in the firing and the fighting, and it gives you an opportunity to reload without you know, just automatically dying. So as we're making our way here, we're gonna, I'm going to try to stay uh, up high if I can as we make it to the C location. Don't really want to go down below there to that left uh, because I'm worried that they're going to be watching behind those uh, half walls. So I'm going to go ahead and reload here again uh, to make sure I'm ready to get to the C location. Uh, there's usually someone going to be in the, in the window of that building there as you go down this alley, but it looks like it's clear our team's already in there. So I'm going to try to make my way around uh, this half wall where I thought someone might have been and it looks clear. And as you can see, the C location coming up on the left. Now, I have saved, if you notice in the top left, I have a Black Hawk transport support action available. So what I'm going to do is I've waited to get to this point to call it in because if we can take over this location, then we basically win the game. So, you know, if you've got a support action like that, like the Black Hawk, which will allow your team to repel and spawn in it, and it will also allow you to control the uh, machine gun, use that to your team's advantage. You know, don't... 
don't as soon as you get it just call it in. I'm bad about doing that sometimes because uh, depending on where you call it in at is where it's going to, um, you know, come in and show up on the map. So you see, I got lucky here. I called it in in a good location. It ended up uh, appearing almost right over uh, the sea uh, bomb plant. So I've got a real uh, advantageous position here to be able to support uh, my fire team, to be able to defend uh, the bomb that we have planted, and, you know, to keep them from uh, trying to get in there and defusing it. Uh, I've also positioned it in a kind of a good way that it's going to be hard for them to snipe me out of this gun position. Uh, many times when I'm in the Black Hawk, uh, I'm in there just for a few minutes and the next thing you know I'm dead because someone has, has shot me out of the gun, gun location. So I'm in a pretty good place here that I can't really get shot from the side, so I've got a great view over the bomb site, and there we go, we got the objective complete. Like I said uh, before, uh, at the beginning of the video, I really like Combat Mission. Uh, I don't know if you guys have played that one. You know, wh what's your favorite game mode? Are you a, just a TDM kind of person? Do you like sector control? Are you a home runner? Do you like uh, capture the flag? Uh, let me know below what your favorite game type is and if you've uh, played Combat Mission, what you think about it. Uh, here are some links to some of my other videos that talk about uh, some of the weapons, some of the uh, weapon unlocks, as well as the support actions that are available. So guys, I hope you have a great day. God bless, and hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up with my videos. Bye.